Hello and welcome to Let's Talk Guns with Pupwood and Ladies Get Your Gun Basic Firearm Safety Training. Uh, periodically, we have companies that will send us in their products for us to review. And because of my high level of integrity, one of the things that I do is I tell them up front, I'm going to review your products, I'm going to do a video on it, but I'm going to give a true and honest uh, review of the products. Today, we're going to review an inside the waistband holster and a magnetic, uh, I hate, I hesitate to call it a holster, but a magnetic gun holder. We'll talk about those uh, and thank you for tuning in to uh, my uh, YouTube channel, uh, Pupwood Let's Talk Guns, and we'll be right back. And like I mentioned, we're going to talk a little bit about some equipment that companies periodically send to me for review. Uh, and sometimes if I've got a, something that I may have purchased that I really, really like, that I want you to know about, that will help you become a more uh, competent, confident, and safe gun owner, I'm going to put that information out there to you. Uh, a company by the name of Rab Ray, R-A-B-R-A-Y, they have an Amazon store. Uh, to my knowledge, they don't have a storefront, but they sent me in two items for review. They sent me in a uh, an inside the waistband holster, which I will be upfront with you, full disclosure, uh, because of my large girth, I don't wear an inside the waistband holster. I only wear an outside the waistband holster, but many, many people do. Uh, this is a brown leather holster uh, with the inside the waistband clip on it. Uh, I looked on the uh, Amazon store for this company. This holster is about a anywhere from a $17.50 to $21 price point. For the price, this is a quality value holster. Not everybody's going to spend $65 on an inside the waistband holster. This is a leather holster uh, complete with the sweat shield uh, on here, which is good. Now, I'm going to go ahead and remove one of the guns from the magnet holder. Uh, I have cleared these guns out prior to starting the video. I do have a magazine with live rounds in it. I'm not going to put a round in the chamber because I want it to simulate real carry weight. Uh, but of course, we're here we're physically, that's a copyrighted term, we're physically, visually uh, checking the chamber and physically checking the magazine well. Make sure that gun's unloaded. I'm going to click the trigger to make sure that there is no live round in the chamber after I've already physically checked it. Now I'm inserting a live magazine, I'm a full magazine. I'm not going to rack the slide, so therefore there cannot be a live round in the chamber. This is a Glock Model 26 with a loaded magazine, and you can see it fits rather well into this inside the waistband holster. I put this on, I can put it on, you won't be able to see it on video. It works nicely. Uh, the leather stitching after it breaks in will become soft. Again, it's got the sweat guard here, so your body oils and uh, amino acids and sweat don't affect the gun. And this is a Glock and it's gonna affect it minimally anyway. But this is a low quality holster uh, for those of you, like I said, that don't wanna pay $65 for a a brand name or Kydex or, or whatever type holster that you want to get. Uh, in my humble opinion, this holster is a value holster. It is a budget-friendly holster. And if you don't carry a lot, then this may be the holster for you. If you carry every day, I don't know how durable this leather is going to stand up. Uh, I have leather holster that's, that I have worn outside the waistband for years and you kind of get, it's like a, a good saddle. You get scars on, on good leather and it just enhances the, uh, the wearability of that leather. So something that you may want to consider, again, good holster for the price point and it will serve your purposes. Now the next thing, that, uh, the next product that they sent us, I'm not going to call it a holster, but I'm going to call it a gun holder. And it is a plastic gun holder with what I have been told are neomanidium magnets, which are very, very freaking strong magnets that hold the gun in place. Now, I have seen other people talk about these particular holders right here. Uh, I have seen them mounted onto the uh, near the steering wheel column on a vehicle uh, to hold the gun while you're, you're traveling in your vehicle. I've seen them mounted under desk 
or uh, on walls beside beds, those kind of things. Before I get into any more of that, I do want to say this. Make sure that you fully understand what the state laws are in your area as it relates to carrying firearms in your vehicle. Do they have to be concealed? Can they be carried open? Etc. Etc. Now basically, this is one of the um, more user-friendly uh, magnetic uh, gun holders that I've seen. It has a location cut out for the front sight and it's got, I'll call them little tabs here, that if you wanted to carry on an empty chamber, stop, I do not advocate carrying a firearm with an empty chamber. That's like driving a car without your seatbelt on and saying I'll have time to put my seatbelt on before I'm involved in the wreck. But if you were to store your weapon for safety reasons in your home, under your desk, or in your vehicle and you wanted to carry on an empty chamber, this holder uh, allows you once it's mounted to rack the, the around into the chamber with using just one hand and it is very, very easy to do that. Now, again, this uh, Glock Model 26 has an empty chamber. It has a fully loaded magazine to simulate weight and I have checked this. I have tried to shake the gun loose from it. I have not mounted this in my vehicle and driven down some of our, our dirt country roads around where I live to see just how it's going to work. But you can see here I'm shaking it quite vigorously and you can see my double chin behind my beard uh, shaking a little bit too. But the gun doesn't come off of it. Now you've got to grip the gun effectively to get it off of the holder. If you are going, if you're in an office, you want to have this under your desk. Uh, you can, it's got four holes for mounting screws and the, the mounting screws come with it. So you can mount this and it would securely hold your gun uh, under your desk. Uh, if you wanted to mount it, if you don't have any small children in your home and you wanted to mount it, uh, somewhere on the wall or to your bedpost or to a nightstand to securely hold your firearm. Uh, that would work as well. Or if you wanted to mount it on the dash near the steering wheel, uh, subject to your local laws and ordinances, uh, it would hold that gun securely and it gives you quick access being able to get that firearm in a rapid manner. This is a Glock Model 26. I've got a SIG 365 here. It seems like uh, because the top of the Glock is more square and the top of the slide on the SIG is a little bit more rounded, you get a little bit more movement so there's actually less metal contacting the magnet surface. But still, it's a very, very secure way to store your gun. Again, also a uh, loaded magazine, unloaded chamber. I'd physically check this before we started the video, but I'll do it on video just to remind you of firearm safety. Physically, physically check the magazine well. Uh, visually check the chamber. Make sure that that gun is empty. And then I'll secure it on the magnetic holder. Uh, the price point on this magnet, I think, is around 25 bucks. Uh, it came in a box of two. You'll have to look at the description on their Amazon store to determine whether or not it's one for $25 or two for $25. But if I was in an office or I operated a retail establishment where I could follow my rules and my establishment and I wanted to keep a gun mounted under the counter, this is absolutely an effective way to do that. Uh, all in all, uh, I'll give these products uh, four thumbs up. Uh, they're good products. They are uh, budget friendly products and it's something that, uh, you know, if you want to consider it, you recommend it. Uh, I, I can't say anything bad about it because I think they're, uh, they're absolutely very utilitarian. Uh, please like our video, subscribe, please share these videos with uh, any of your friends that may uh, be uh, Second Amendment advocates and, and firearms enthusiasts. Uh, I had somebody the other day uh, say, are you a gun nut? I said, uh, no, I'm not a gun nut, nut. I'm a firearms enthusiast. Uh, but, you know, probably every now and then I am somewhat a gun nut. But, uh, and click the notification bell. So like, share, hit the subscribe button, click the notification bell, let other people know about our videos. We are a small, veteran-owned, locally-owned business, so please share our information uh, with any of your friends. So again, for the products that came from RabRay, R-A-B-R-A-Y, you can go to Amazon.com and search Rab Ray Holsters, R-A-B-R-A-Y Holsters. 
that'll come up. And in the description under our YouTube video, there'll be a live link that you'll be able to click on. It'll take you right to their, uh, their Amazon store. Again, on these, I'm giving it uh, good to go because I've, I've literally tried to shake the guns loose, forcefully tried to shake the guns loose, and it is a secure means of securing that gun wherever you decide you want to secure it safely in accordance with local laws and ordinances where you live. As always on our videos, we take questions from some of our previous students. Uh, we take questions from our viewers. My beautiful second half, the, the rock upon which Pupwood is founded, is, is off camera and gonna read some questions to us. So, Kel, what's the first question from our students? The first question is for Jennifer. What are the main things to consider for an in the waistband holster? The primary and most important thing to consider for an inside the waistband holster is going to be comfort. The second thing to consider for an inside the waistband holster is comfort. And the third thing to consider for an inside the waistband holster is comfort. So if you haven't already picked up on that, it's like real estate, uh, location, location, location. Uh, an inside the waistband holster is going to have to be comfortable. If it is not comfortable for you to wear, you won't carry your gun in that holster inside the waistband. Next thing that you want to consider is security. Most of your inside the waistband holsters are open top, they're a level one holster, and the gun just fits securely in there. Uh, it will be, of course, concealed, and it will be easy access. This one has a metal clip on it that has a detent that will, uh, that will actually secure it around the clothing, uh, maybe around or, or over your belt, so it will be easy for you to draw your firearm out of this holster. But the most important thing when considering an inside the waistband holster uh, is comfort, and then of course the second thing to consider is going to be uh, security and how easy it is for you to get your gun out uh, from being concealed. Okay, next question, Kel. All right, the next question is from Jenny Lynn. What are the different materials that holsters are made of, and does that matter? In 2021, about to be 2022, in the modern 21st century, uh, the most popular holsters are primarily made of Kydex. Now, Kydex is a fancy word for plastic. Uh, they're very moldable. In fact, you probably have some local craftsmen around your area, and also shop local, you have some local craftsmen around your area that probably make custom Kydex holsters to fit your gun in whatever configuration you're going to carry it. Uh, but Kydex holsters are a hard plastic. Uh, they will secure the gun very well because it actually molds into the um, ejection port of your gun and helps hold it, uh, hold it steady. Uh, but then you do get some uh, leather holsters, and the probably third most popular is going to be a nylon holster. Now keep in mind that nylon does wear. Uh, every now and then I carry a nylon tacky holster that fits inside my pocket that allow me to draw the weapon, and the, the holster actually kind of sticks to the inside of your pocket. Uh, nylon is not as durable as leather. Uh, or the Kydex. The Kydex, unless you get it near a uh, high heat, is fairly indestructible. But those are the, the, the three primary materials of which holsters are made these days. And Kydex holsters can run anywhere from like 1995 to 89.95, depending upon uh, the accessories you want with them. Make sure you look at our uh, archive videos on our YouTube channel. I did an entire video on holsters, different types, inside waistband, outside waistband. Uh, different levels of security for holsters, uh, so something that you may want to check out. All right, our third question is from Frida. What is the difference between an IWB and an OWB holster? Not to be confused with OG. Yeah, okay, sorry, no, anyway. No. Okay, an IWB holster is an inside the waistband holster. And that's a holster that will fit inside the waistband of your clothing between the garments. Sometimes it's worn between the belt and the waistband of the, the clothing, but usually it's between the body and the waistband of your pants 
uh, that you're, that you're going to be wearing or shorts that you're going to be wearing. An OWB stands for an outside the waistband holster. An outside waistband is usually like you will see uh, people at the range. Police officers actually carry a duty holster that is an outside the waistband holster. It usually uses a belt clip that you feed your belt through or a what is referred to as a paddle that slides down inside the waistband but the holster is actually on the outside of the clothing and it's more of a traditional holster uh, and then of course in some of our uh, training classes that we do live we, uh, especially for our concealed carry that we do all over the, uh, Georgia we talk about different locations to carry your inside the waistband or outside the waistband holsters but IWB is inside the waistband, OWB is outside waistband, and you'll see this on holster manufacturers' websites if you're going to order those. Uh, and it really comes down to it's better to carry, when it comes to concealed carry, it's better to have your gun and not need it than to need it and not have it. And like I've said many times before, a gun is very similar to a parachute. If it ever comes to a situation where you need it and don't, ha and don't have it with you, you'll probably never need it again. Okay, But it comes down to comfort. If your holster is not comfortable, you're not going to carry it, and you may not have it when you need it. And that's all for the equipment review. And just want to um, make sure that you're aware to remember, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Please go to our website, which is www.pupwood.com. That's P-U-P-W-U-D.com. Look at our videos. Look at our YouTube channel. We're on Instagram. Uh, what else are we on? Instagram. We're on Facebook. Facebook. We're on Pinterest. I didn't know that. So you can pin us on Pinterest. And, of course, look at our uh, YouTube videos. If there's anything that you would like to see a particular video on or any piece of equipment that you would like to be reviewed, you can send us an email at info, I-N-F-O, at pupwood.com. Again, that's I-N-F-O, the little at, at symbol, P-U-P-W-D.com, and we'll try to get uh, videos for, uh, uh, for viewer uh, requests. So thank you for everything. Thank you for patronizing our company. Thank you for uh, attending our training, and again, we're doing uh, live classes all over Georgia, so please look at our website to make sure that if there's one in your area and you would like to attend, and for Pupwood and Kelly, be safe, shoot straight, until next time.